you now let me talk to you about the biggest delusion in my time right now a man sleeps with a man a woman sleeps with a woman i'm going there yeah tell everybody to raise the volume we need to talk yeah it's a delusion it's a delusion the bible has made it very clearly you know that a man cannot sleep with a man and before i go that i go further i would like to use the opportunity that before we swear in a president a speaker of parliament a vice president before we swear in anybody like the chief justice police officers members of parliament before we swear in a pre a vicar, a priest, a prophet, a bishop, an archbishop, a cardinal, a pope. They all swear with this thing. The word of the Lord, the Bible. And so I am going to be quoting from the scriptures and telling you that God will judge you. Your human rights in positions are not here your human rights in position now you go to a place like england and you're looking for uh, a male toilet and a female toilet it will be difficult to discover because now they are introducing the children to gayism and lesbianism and transgender in other words when the child is growing they tell the child you can choose your sex you can choose to become a woman if even you are a man yeah the impositions of alice bailey has now become government impositions make sex free and make it cheap and make it common television the Bible said, Yeah, all things are permissible, but not all things are lawful, and I shall not be brought under the under the bondage of any or under the pestering or pressure of any. I want to use the opportunity to tell you now. Look at even this corona virus check nations that have adopted and legalized lbgt and and check they i was preaching on one radio station and uh you know the manager of the radio station you know who lives in england told me i should not mention the word lbgt i'm just saying was it because they can lose their license for it i said so be it say as I'm speaking to you, LBGT has opened an office in Ghana. When I say LBGT, I'm talking about lesbians, gays, transgender. That is what I'm talking about. One table of room, I can make a name. One with the room. A member, a dear woman, young could true. And a ma, one of the woman, Sashi Show, a ma, a woman, young could ma. That is what I'm talking about. Let's make it plain and get everybody to understand. Semi Jinahe, Messi Elda, Yirinchi, Kotoho, Rodros, Mamenfa, Wutrumo. Mamenfa, Yina Wutrumo. A shepe man, who pampe, I buy Yirisa Panchi, Abui, Namas, Tiani! Dogs don't do that. Cats don't do that. Sheep don't do that. Chickens don't do that. Human beings have gone mad and kramai a new trumo and coco a new trumo and praco a new trumo nipa dasani a dini nyonku trumo and then when they pick up the bible if it is the president he will say i pledge or i pledge through faith and allegiance that i will protect defend the constitution of the republic of ghana that i will do right to all manner of person and should i default at this oath i will subject myself to the ramifications of it and suffer the penalty for it now if this thing 
is for the speaker of parliament same thing will happen if it is for police officer same thing will happen if you go to the courts they give you a bible to swear under oath and they say that i i i swear that i will speak the whole truth nothing but the truth under the court or in the court they give you the word of the lord the word of god has made it clear leviticus chapter number 18 and verse number 22 a man should not sleep with a man Wonipa should not you know he said thou shall not lie with mankind with as with a woman kind it is an abomination straight straight first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 the bible talks about the same thing in the place first corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 9 this is how god's word put it he said know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not be this do not be deceived neither fornicators idolater, idolaters nor adulterers nor the infeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind change it into a different version he was speaking about true for now here he brings it he said or oh, adulterous or homosexual perverts he said they will never inherit the kingdom of god go to verse number 10 possibly it will end very well or who steal or who are greedy or drunkards or who are slanderous others or who are thieves none of these none of these people will possess god's kingdom clear none of these people who possess god's kingdom this same bible that we swear with this same bible has spoken against this whole thing well maybe you're waiting i'm here before bomb so sodom and gomorrah had the affair share who pia will bear my will fall bear my will bow will fall will bow it's an abomination the pulpit must rise and begin to tell the world uh, the pulpit we shouldn't be quiet Ghana I'm speaking to you know the church we should not be quiet and yes sir and yes sir Revelation chapter 18 from verse number 2 and 3 is going to be on our heads Revelation chapter 18 the Bible said and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is falling he is falling he has become the habitation of devils and uh, the bible said and the hood of foul spirits and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird in verse number three the bible makes it very clear for all nations have drunk of his wine yeah and of his wrath and, and, and of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies in verse number four this is the instruction and i heard another voice from heaven say come out of her my people come out that you be not partakers of her sins and that you do not receive her plagues now that word plagues here is the same word that is used for pandemics plagues pandemics and here he didn't say plague plagues in the plurality jeremiah chapter number 51 and verse number seven and eight listen to the word of the lord the bible said babylon yeah has been a golden cup in the hands of the lord that have made the, the earth to be drunken and the bible said the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad when you're mad babylon headquarters office. Do you think I will be standing here? Shoot me! And when I was, you know, when I look carefully at our constitution, uh, you know, our constitution even frowns on it. When you look at Article 1 of our constitution, it talks about the constitution itself, the supremacy of the constitution. And then if you read Article 2 of our constitution, very clearly, it talks about, you know, the defense of the constitution. And then when you go to the, you know, uh, 
the article 3 is talking about the, the enforcement of the constitution and then I have been reading the acts, acts of Ghana yeah and then I was reading the acts of Ghana first republic very clearly uh, uh, you know and I went to meet some few things that I got like really we have all these things here and we can bring these guys we have prime ministers in the world who are gays we want to tell you that we don't hate you God hates that sin you are brothers you are sisters we are praying for you something is wrong when I watched the criminal code 1960 acts 29 and then I looked at the criminal code amendment act 2003 and uh, act 646 at subject number when you come to the subject number 102 and 104 it talks about Trumudi a woman sleeping with a man and a man sleeping with a man it calls it indecent canal knowledge if you look clear, carefully at, you know, uh, article number 104, subsection 1 A, B, C, and subsection 2, you realize that Ghana, your family, you. Because God bless our homeland, Ghana make our nation great and strong bold to defend forever the cause of freedom of right freedom and of right feel our hearts with true humility yeah make us cherish fearless honesty fearless honesty that's what i'm doing this morning but the people don't like fearless honesty help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and might forevermore Repent and come back to God. We pray this church the way no one yamme butwa teaching. I'm telling you, Ghana, repent, come back to God. Yeah, when I talk about these things, don't look far. There are people in church who are gays. Yeah, there are people. Daniel, there are people in church who are gays. There are people in church who are lesbians. There are people in church who sleep with men and women at the same time. Yeah. Look at Romans chapter 1 and verse number 16. He said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it is the power of God unto salvation to everybody who believes. First to the Greek, first to the Jew, then to the Greek. And then he goes first in, further in verse number 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. It is written, the just shall live by his faith. In verse number 18, the Bible said, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all uncleanness or ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. The thing is that the devil is making us believe in the delusion that even if you sleep with a man there is nothing wrong with it even if you have anal sex you do, did it, you know that there are husbands who are married wives who do not sleep with them through the vagina but through the anal or through the anus yeah mommy bako had anal infection and was treating it at kolibu and then come and fast and so so. There are women even here. Now, what could she have be a casa to the way? Wouldn't he? What could she have be? I will be back on so now. I am having my menses was me here. Me the best for baby. And this is going on. How do you expect to prosper? How do you expect your economy to grow? Yes! Hear me this morning and repent. Lesbians, repent. And I am telling our government, let our laws work. I was shocked. 
that whilst I was doing a little research, you know, I read an article from the British High Commission and it was about people who have spoken against LBGT, lesbianism, gayism, transgender. Anybody who spoke against it, they wrote his name in the article. Preachers. There is a pastor at Osu, Christ Apostle. They wrote his name. There is an imam who spoke against They wrote his name. They wrote and it has become a document and the names of people that are standing against truth have been documented. So that when you get there and you want visa, they tell you there is no visa. Take your visa. We are not going anywhere. Tear! God will bring judgment and judgment will sanitize. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. England, Tell me, I make offer. Sin is sin. There is no Polish sin. Repent from your sins. Repent from your sins. Repent from your sins. Repent. Monsach of my king. Repent. 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 Repent, 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 repent. Repent from your sins. Gayism is a sin and an abomination before God. Trumudia a yabone. Any of you should hear, I will not hear him. Repent. When you pray through, Muna Ape, I see a dream burn. Sabaya Mbeka see and dear Timothy, for scripture and Tony and to us. Ato, Babro Monka in Trumu na Mudi. Monka Babro Trumu na Mudi. Monpe Babro Trumu na Mudi. Verse number 18. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all TNA, all ungodliness, unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Verse 19. Look at this. The Bible says, Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it unto them. Verse number 20 of Romans chapter 1. The Bible says for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things which are made. Even his eternal power and the Godhead so that they are without excuse. Now verse 21. Let's start working. For they knew God but they did not honor him as God. Ghana wouldn't mean your men so unfunny in your way. Wouldn't mean your men and swum muno. Wouldn't mean your men and swan summoner. Would put your men on your master. We are Christo mine and swoon nim your men. Wouldn't in Tamuche, one in Tamuare. What here, Tia? What I know where she actually is like Rujin, you know. Who can't be so dear at the other didn't Ghana repent before judgment comes on you. Repent, repent. Emoji did him a woman sound. I'm talking to you. Repent. Even though they know God, they don't glorify Him as God. Neither do they thank. Do they? Neither are they thankful. But they have become vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart is darkened. I'm telling you. You come to a place of repentance. Look at verse number 22. I'm ending with that. Look at verse number 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they have become fools. 
in Garcia 23 look at this the Bible said they have changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like the corruptible man and to the, and to the likeness of birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things in the verse number 24 the Bible said wherefore God also gave them up through the last of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves and verse number 25 say who changed the truth of God next verse verse number number 26 the Bible says for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature in verse number 27 and likewise men slept with men and women slept with women and listen to where HIV is in the scriptures and receiving and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error yadia in your truth yameshe da eye asotwe yadia and the Yes, I'm telling you. Yes. You will receive in your bodies the just recompense of your error, which is meat. a fatamo. A suchin a fatamo. Ukona will be a yes, and I will be wooer. Ushini panwa or honor, Utimi wants a way a yasuchin. I'm telling you, repent and fear God. Nanyame o ye dangerous. Nyame no awo ye wodo no o san ye dangerous. Make us a match. Nyame no o ye wodo o san ye dangerous. Ye mu misa hero, ye who are pan isum. We hear from an eternity to 10 seconds. Now our process will be our probe ya bo sume miensa. Bring a scripture back. Let's finish up with that listen to verse number 28 and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god also gave them up to a reprobate mind to do the do things that are that which are not convenient in your bodies look at verse number 29 and being filled with all uncleanness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder debate deceit yeah he goes up to mal mal no go back go back to it you know uh malik malik whisperers he goes to the next verse and say backbiters he does of God, when you are town for oh, you are what town for? Where you are, me, a free channel call, we be who you are, me, a town for. A dear, me, a free channel call, we be who you are, me, a town for. I send me, I know, our town for. I'm telling the church, rise up as a voice and speak against sin and the unrighteousness church church rise up apostolic from over here praise me from over here cc from over here lighthouse more here roman from over here rise up alabaster from over here action from over here solid rock where are you wake up wake up charismatic evangelistic ministry where are you Monsoni na ponia brugana pone menegana wake up and preach against sin injustice cruelty yeah preach against preach it preach it until they kill you preach preach it This morning we want to make intercession for our nation Isaiah 1 5 says the whole head is sick the whole heart is frivolous or weak I want to ask everybody make intercession for our country if you have tonight so Pastor Kofi God bless you we love you thank you so much I honor the AG1 Apostle G thanks hallelujah 
wake up, wake up, church, wake up, wake up, and never do vampire. It's bless me, bless me, bless me. It's intercessory prayer. Where are the gatekeepers? Where are the people that can pray? The reason is because Yanka say you double him. Aaron you cook a set here, Bonnie. You double him. We down pray, she sorry about it now. Every day we tell me sorry yet here, baby. Bishop and any movie, I'm man a sorry sick, I'm man a cool year to work. Every day we tell me a casa. Wake up, Bonnie. Many women. I'm telling you, Bonnie. Many women. And because sin is everywhere, and the infamous in your head. Jeremiah, okay, chapter three, verse number nine. And I'm, and I'm saying my emu jamai shinti. Yeah, now, yani a bone in ya, and a boy jamai. We be pia, we be caught na kadom pe still na we pia. A kadom pe a dia or still is pushing. This nation needs healing. And yes, sir, I switch in the bamos. What do you have a nation, sir? I just had you we are to corona check on the rate of deaths. Tobo America, UK, South Africa, check Spain, Italy, Amsterdam, check it. Umu wusem ponche em ponche. Stand to your feet, let's pray. We want to make intercession for this nation. And you mean one say we see the young baby? Who cried here about me? Mo, na sadi ano? It's been for us ten dollars. With the ten dollars, na si sa e, who cost si sa dollar no? Na me for us be a five point five. By the time you come, it's six. It is at the start. Waboka. We nyan tong a di ano, but waboka. Just by the exchange rate. And so we don't have an we don't have a stable economy. I don't believe all the GDP growth micro. I don't believe it. Do you know that yesterday arm robbers stabbed a woman with a scissors? Yeah. They stabbed a woman. Look at Honorable Echo Hayford. We still haven't gotten the message the people sent us. The people who killed Honorable Echo Hayford, they asked, Are you an MP? They sent that message. Till now, we haven't gotten the message. I remember. Yeah. And so, if some few people. I will be just lavishing themselves. I'm telling you, there will be no peace. There will be no peace. May the Lord heal us. May the Lord heal us. I'm telling the church, wake up. You know, now we have occultic boys in church. to pastors so how can pastor preach against occultism we can't do that the pastor's car was bought by an occult grandmaster how can you preach against them and they are using church girls for rituals we need help and only God can give it. It was only you know, looking at the figures of coronavirus in our country. It brings us to our knees in prayer. 
and we are asking God to help us the reason is because we don't have the infrastructure that the other nations have to deal with these situations and that is why we encourage all of you not to joke with these protocols the reason is because we don't have the infrastructure the things we have when I look at Kolebu and I realize I am not shocked that our leaders receive medical care abroad because when you look at the infrastructure there is nothing that will say go there so why don't we fix it rather than give the money of this miserable nation to other nations why Nigeria's former president you know his excellency Omar Yadwa you know died in a foreign hospital why why the reason is because these nations have learned how to build proper infrastructure and proper hospitals I want to ask Ghana Medical Association and Ghana Health Service how do you feel when our leaders travel out of this country for medical care how do you feel have you ever heard that President Trump why you have forgotten how we took our former vice president to the hospital you have forgotten look at where his excellency the former president died where a brilliant young man you know from a very reputable bank who died from this virus they wanted to you know do a, a test for him they, they wanted to do a dialysis that morning and they were looking for an ambulance that has a ventilator in it and we couldn't have it we took a private ambulance brought him to do the dialysis that afternoon he died you can't say which though. You know, you don't understand Ghana for you don't understand. It didn't yet work in a bon thing. It be the Anya Johnson. Bola honia kushie gususu emo. Nam tontuma ba malaria ba ne kumu sam ponche. And then you know we 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 say bon sam. Say. 